hello friends today i am going to solve again another accenture problem if you will see in this problem uh, the problem in name is that right merge string so in this problem we have given one method right merge string and we have to uh, return another string right in this method you can see that this method have taken two uh, argument as a uh, string and we have to return another string which is the merge of these two strings so they have given some right way to merge the, these two strings so let's discuss about it right so you can see that they have right uh, given some cases and they have also explained the case about these two so you can see that this uh, we have these two right a string we have to merge this two a string right for merging this two a string we have to follow some approach you can see that they have also mentioned right in explanation like in first way if you will see uh, first what we will do we will take each and every uh, character from this two a string and we will compare if like uh, suppose uh, first time we will take these two character right a and d and we will compare if uh, and what we have to do we have create we have to create new string in such a way like uh, that uh, a smaller character will become in left side and a higher a right, greater cap uh, character will become in right side so you can see that if we will take a and d in first time you can see that we have to put this a and two right you can see that uh, this uh, new string first element of this new string will be a because a is smaller than d and we will put like uh, last uh, this d as a last element of that new string right so suppose this is our new string so we will put a in first and d in last because d is greater than a again we will go again we will take this two character right r and e and again we will check which is higher you can see that e is smaller and r is higher we have to put e in uh, left side of this new string and we have to put r in right side of this string so we have and so on we have to follow this same approach so in final when we will end and with this two string we will get a new string right a triple double e i m and d r and this function is going to return this string right so we have to write program for that you can see they have also mentioned different uh, input like in first case suppose they have c a p e and another string they have port so we have to write uh, write functions so that it will return this types of a string right after merging so first we will discuss about it so you can see that suppose we have two string right str1 are and we have another string is d and i am so what we will do we will take right each uh, first character of these two strings suppose this is our i right index of i we will maintain like in this way and what we will do we will take each and every character from this two string and we will check so you can see that this a is smaller so what we will do we will take a and we will put here right in a starting and we will take d and we will put this d2 into right uh, last in that string so and remember uh, we have to create a new string right and the length of this new string will be addition of these two suppose this is first string and the length of first string is three and the length of another string is five right so we have to create a new string with eight uh, length right so we have created this new string so for solving this problem in first we will create character of a because we don't write uh, we cannot change value of a string in java so first we will create character of a uh, array of character and then we will convert that array of character into a string and then we will return so next time right when i will be incremented next time we will take this two uh, this two element right r and e r and e and we will check which is which one is a smaller so we will find that e is a smaller so we will put e here right and we will put this r in this side right next time we will go and we will check this to e and n right so we will check this e is a smaller so we will put this e here right in right side and we will check right n is put uh, we will put n in left side uh, right side so whenever we will do this one we will increment the value of i right so for this problem we have used dual i for index of new string right and dual j for right side of index so whenever we will put any value we will increment value of i and we will decrement value of j because we are going to left to right for j and we are coming from right to left uh, sorry left to right from i so next time we will take we have no any uh, left element in first string so what we will do we will uh, stop here right we will end the process of this taking and uh, we will check which how much element have remain in that second string right in question they have also mentioned that str1 right first string will always be a smaller or equal to second string so in this case right our i will be right if you will see 
when this loop will end because we have ended with this first string right so our i will be at this position right at this position and our j will be at this position it will end our i and j will be here right if you will see our i and j will be here so next what we have to do we know that we have remained this two element right because we are taking a similar character from this two string so what we will do we will take index of this two right so first we will take index of uh, this i so we know that we will find that index of this i from this i so we will uh, start a new loop from this i and we will run this loop until this right this dual j and we will put take each and every character from this second string and we will put the this two character inside this new string so in final our string will be like this right right this and this is we know that this is array of character so we will convert this array of character into a string and then we will return so let's program for this so first what we will do we will create one array of a string right we will create one i variable we will create one double i and double j variable so that we can traverse from this array of character so let's start so first you can see that we have right in main function we have called this merge string method and we are sending this two character do this two string right and this uh, merge string is going to return one string and we are storing this one string into new string variable and then after we are going to print this new string so let's say start so in a starting you can see that they have given right error because here we have written uh, written type as a string and we are not going to return right here anything so first we will return anything so that it will not generate any error so you can see that after using return keyword they have right remove error so let's first create this all variable i we will create i dual i so you can see that in dual i if you will see here dual i right we have started dual i from zero and we have started dual z from dual j from that right, last element of this newly string so we know that what is the size of this new string is that uh, addition of this two string right so we will put you can see that um, we will put double i equals zero and we will put double j equals right uh, s1 dot length plus s2 dot length so it will be right it will be 8 it will be 538 but we know that uh, last index of any string is like uh, total number of side minus 1 so we will write here minus 1 so our j will be 7 in this time right and we have created this variable so now we have to create one character of array right array of character so we will create r is equal to new and uh, we know that what will be the size of this array so we will put so here we know that in j they have last index of right newest uh, in j we have last index of this new string so we will create with j plus one so our double i double j plus one so here we have going to create this string right now we have to start one loop so that we can take each and every character and we will put inside this new character so let's start one loop so we will use 4 and uh, in 4 i will be a starting 0 and we will run right you can see that if here we uh, until we have run that because we know that uh, first string is always be a smaller or equal so here we will use that i is less than equal str1 dot length right so we will use i is less than str1 sorry here name of the first string is s1 so we will use s1 dot length and i plus plus right so let's uh, now we have to write check if s1 dot car at i is less than s2 dot car at i right if it is true then what we have to do it means that we find that s1 character of s1 is a smaller then we have to put uh, you can see that then we have to put this uh, character of s1 in a starting right in dual i position and we will put that uh, uh, character of s2 str2 is last position so we will put in this condition array of double i is equals s1 dot caret i right and we will put that array of double j is equals st dot caret 
i and after that what we will do right whenever we will put each and uh, any character inside this string new string so we will increment the value of i and we will decrement the value of j so that we will next time we will put inside next element so here we will use i plus plus and uh, sorry dual i plus plus because we have used dual i variable for that right and here we will use double j minus minus right next what we have to do we have to use the same thing for right else condition so that if suppose this will be right a greater variable value so we have to use else and else part we will use same so here but we will change this one we will make this one as s1 and we will use s1 right so this is uh, our done and each and every time we have to increment i so i is also incremented you can see that here right in both part if and else part we have used these two uh, right a statement so we know that each and every time we need to run this two statement so we will not write here in this two statement right and we know that each and every time it will come here and the loop so we will increment double i here and we will decrement double j here so it will be right a little bit short so next time if you will see uh we have run until there right we have run until here so we have put all uh, all a uh, character of str1 into this uh, right a new string so next we have to check that if there any character is remain or not right it means suppose if uh, they have you know both string have same value right so in this case here if both character will be have same value so in this case what will happen right so our i and j will be intersect each other right so suppose this uh, this time i our i is 3 and here our i is 4 so when loop will write come here right so it will increment the value of i and it will decrement the value of j right so our i that time will be right here and our j will be here it means that our i value will be more than j so uh, if uh, this scenario will be happen it means that we have both right string as equal so we don't need to do anything in this case right so for further case we will use if i is less than j sorry not j double j right it means that if i we have used one condition right if i is less than j it means that our i is here suppose in this scenario we don't we are working with right here so suppose our i is here and our j is here right next time when loop will run our j, i will be here and our j will be here so whenever we find that if suppose our i is right our this uh, this i is less than this one j double j then what we have to do we have to start another loop from right from i because at the time i will be here right and we have to start this i another loop and we will take each and every character from this i uh, this uh, second string and we will put inside this new string so here we will start one loop right for int x is equal so we will start from i right and x is less than equal to double j right because if you will see we have to run until like uh, until this con uh, this position so next we have to increase uh, value of x and inside that we will put that array of right x is equals s sorry s2 dot caret dual uh, sorry caret x right uh, after this one what we have to do after completing this one we have completed this new string right and we have to we know that this is our character of array so we will convert this into a string and then we will return so here we have to return right a uh, new a string and we will put array so here this line will be converted this line will convert right this array of character into a string and then it will return so let's run this program so when we will run this program you can see that output as right so when we will check with this so it will be right and i am will be here sorry i am so you can see that a dual i dual e i m n right a double e i m n and d r 
sorry an rd an rd so you can see that we have come with the uh, right program right so let's run this program with another case so we will uh, comment this one and we will run this string right so when we will run this string our output will be cap tropi so it means that our program is right so thank you so much for being here